What's up, y'all? Friday. Time for our little daily sidetrack. Yeah, we just got done doing the movie reviews. Yeah, we did. We just uh, recorded the matinee, matinee show, show, so that'll go up on Sunday, unless you're a patron, in which case you will be able to see it on Saturday morning. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I just put up the review of Black Rain, mm. the Ridley Scott movie. So, uh, I put that up earlier today, so go check that out if you haven't already. I just noticed, like, in the camera, I have this little jacket over my shirt, and it looks like it's this black moo on it. <laughs> yeah. So it's a black moon, actually. Sophie yeah. sent me this shirt. It says you can't. That's you neat. guys can't see it, but it says the thirteenth hour on the bottom, which cool. is you know because thirteen o'clock. So t- let's see. Today we went to Walgreens. Now I haven't been to Walgreens yeah. in like a really long time. I had to go to get some uh, feminine hygiene products. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I had to go there. You know what they've done. Well, the, it was pretty well stocked. Like, I even got some soup and shit like that while I was there because apparently no one's buying soup there because I'm like, hey, they have all yeah. kinds of soup. And it they was also sale. had those damn Denty Moore MRE things I was telling you that about. That he was selling, they yeah. They had two of them for six bucks. Or two of them for six bucks. Which, yeah. Was, that, that two, was it for six? No, I think it was three for three, six dollars. So they were two dollars each. Yeah. Which actually isn't bad. It's not bad. So, and, you know what I mean? They had about, well, they only had about eight of them there. Well, yeah, it's not their main. I mean, it's people Walgreens. aren't going there. People aren't going there because they don't know that they have them there. But you could go clean that shit out if you wanted them. Yeah, Dinty Moore. I bought a bunch of soup because they had them like two for three dollars. Yeah, like those big things soups. of chunky soup, like the big yeah. cans. Because I got protein bars. I love those, my soup. I got those lemon. He likes those lemon think bars. Think bars. I like those. Are good. I have. Yeah. I've bought other flavors of those think protein bars. It's like some of them are better than others. Yeah. Like the any one with peanut butter in it is usually good. The lemon ones are usually good. Some of the other ones, like I love mint, but yeah. whenever I get mint protein bars, they always taste really They're dry. funky. They're dry. Yeah. I think. I don't even know what's it. They're like really weirdly heavy and that's like doesn't taste exactly like mint and it's a little off putting. The Think Lemon Bars and the Think uh, Strawberry ones. Remember the, or was it strawberry? Or yeah, was it the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in it good. strawberry with coconut or some shit no, like that. I think that. it was just strawberry. Because I think I got a coconut one in on that they're, one. They're good. It's kind of. The like, lemon one actually tastes like a dessert. Yeah. And it's, they, you know what I mean? They both do. They both do. And it doesn't really have that much sugar in it. It's no. like really, really low sugar. Yeah. And they're and you know it's they're they're low in a lot. I think they're like hundred something calories, and it's like twenty grams of protein. So it's kind of like having a protein shake. Yeah, some of them like know. well, some of the ones because we have some too that that you got at Sam's or whatever yeah. that we have peanut butter ones and mint ones. Those mint ones are pretty good. I don't those remember make what real good bodybuilder survival food too. Those are two hundred and sixty calories, yeah. but that I use them as like a meal replacement. Yeah, like you know what I mean. If I'm not going to be eating right. breakfast or I'm not going to be eating lunch, that'd have been something that'd been really good in an, in an MRE. Yeah, it's shelf stable. They're light. You could put them in a pack. You know what I mean. You could you could put them in a rucksack, and you could you could kind of kind of like equivalent to a chicken breast, nutritionally. Yeah. So you know, as long as you get ones that don't have a shit ton of sugar in them. Yeah. So I like the Think Bars. Yeah, and then. There are some other ones that I got from Sam's. We got a big old thing. They they were really good, but people forget about those. You know, and, you know they'll get all these MREs and all this survival shit and can stuff, and they forget all about all that fucking bodybuilding nutritional supplement stuff is like sustenance. Yeah. All that whey protein, you could almost live off that. Well, like I said, the the ones that we got from Sam's that um that are mint ones, there are mint ones and yeah. peanut butter ones. It's two different flavors in one box. And um, I don't remember what the brand was. It's Builder something or whatever. Yeah, Builders. And those are and those are two. Those are twenty grams of protein. I think that's very yeah. very low sugar. I think it's like less than five grams of sugar. Yeah. And they're two hundred and sixty calories. They taste good. Like in one bar. And they're both of both the flavors are actually really good. Got those at Sam's. I think for a twenty dollars for a big fucking box of them. Yeah, we still have a shit ton. And of them. it's like half and half peanut butter and chocolate and mint and yeah. mint and chocolate. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, some so, of them are pretty good. Like. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's we've they're tried filling different. Too. They are, and yeah. like yeah, once I've eaten that, I'm like, yeah, I don't need to. Eat. They're they're heavy. Yeah. You know, they're very dense. But yeah, so we're at Walgreens, and like I said, they had soup, so I picked up a bunch of soup. Um, I think the only thing they were out of was it looked like uh, the paper aisle was kind of cleared out. Um, you know, the, there was no toilet paper, no uh, anything like that. But other than that, it looked like looked everything normal. was pretty uh, well stocked. You know what they were starting to do is that. Um, you know, because everybody's saying, you know, stay six feet apart from the, the, uh, sidewalk outside, they drew big chalk squares, six stand? feet apart and they put tape on the floor inside six feet. So everyone could stay sick. I'm like, well, that yeah, was a good idea. Yeah, in the checkouts, in the checkouts, uh, area that, and, and I, 
her and I were occupying the same space, and she's looking at me. You know, the, the she she's looking at me like, "Get your germy ass off her!" I'm like, like, "She's like, right, he's she's like, you guys together?" And she says, "Yeah." Like, okay. <laughs> she's like, "Otherwise, back off." Yeah. Because <laughs> you're supposed to stay like way the hell. Yeah. And you know what I mean. I'm kind of hoping that they, because we use one of those little hand baskets, and they didn't have any wipes or anything, so I'm really kind of hoping. I mean, we washed the, the shit out of our hands when we got home and everything, yeah. but I said I hope they're hosing those down with yeah, so, alcohol. Yeah, but you know, I just wanted to mention that some of that kind of hard to find canned goods and survival oriented stuff like the denty more stuff and protein bars and fucking whey protein and shit like that health food stuff walgreens got it people forgetting about that they're getting everything from the damn supermarket walgreens yeah. had it and, and they, i mean i just had it we weren't even gonna play i wasn't gonna get any food and I a just, lot of shit was half off did you notice yeah, yeah i did like i said the soup was yeah. super cheap that's why i yeah. got like i got like four or five yeah. cans Monster drinks and energy drinks were all half off. Yeah, I got a I got a coffee drink too. Yeah, I haven't drunk it yet though. One of those Dunkin' Donuts. So there's good deals going on right now. Yeah, and it it looked like it was like yeah. untouched. Yeah, I got a pair of the damn gargoyle fucking shooting glasses from fucking Terminator One. I got them for thirty five dollars delivered. Yeah. And like you said, normally, that's normally almost we, close to yeah. They bucks. were like eighty or ninety dollars. Yeah, ninety five. We're going to going to a store. They're going to be a hundred. Yeah. Retail. That's it. Brick and mortar retail? About 100. <laughs> All right. So we had a request to uh, talk about tattoos oh, or do shit. tattoo Again. show and tell. You just have one. You just have no, that one. No, I got three different ones that become became that one became over, one. It was over just time. They're just military tattoos. I'm not going to show them. Yeah. It's I'll an s- eagle, an infantry thing, a fucking 101st Airborne crest, and a fucking recon tab above that. I'll show my ones. Yeah. I just have two. I as, Well, technically I have three because one's a cover-up. I got ratty-ass fucking barracks tattoos. <laughs> yeah. This one here is obviously uh, Anubis. Yeah. I got this one many years ago. Um, I got this one just because I'm super into Egyptian mythology and always have been, and I always liked that iconography. There's, that's really the only reason. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit faded because I've had it for so long. Now, this other tattoo here... This originally, originally, I had um, a little, like a tribal looking, like a tiny little barn owl up here, and it was just all black. I got that when I was really young. I think I was only like 19 or 20 when I got it. And um, all the lines had kind of faded together and stuff. It was still cool, but it's like you couldn't really tell what it was anymore, and it was just starting to look blobby. The devil did that tattoo. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we had this friend. We had this friend named uh, Jacob. Yeah, he's in France right now. If I can, he's. He's running a show. He's kind of a small celebrity. He's been on TV a lot in Central and South America. Yeah, he he's is. kind of like, he's originally... Uh, From Colombia. Yeah, he's Colombian. He was a Colombian army sniper. Yeah. And his and, and he's a cool dude. And he's uh, Yeah, he's super cool. Skinny. He looks like the devil if you see him now. He's got fucking... He puts on a show where he wears big old fucking devil fucking platforms and wings and fucking horns coming out of his head and... And he was a tattoo artist once he got out of the army. And his brother, his older brother was a fucking Colombian army officer who got accused of fucking war crimes. But he got out of it. His brother, his brother commanded a unit of fucking machine gun to a bunch of fucking rebels. Yeah. Uh, well, they were prisoners, though. <laughs> But it was it was my understanding based on what I remember the story. You know, it was kind of understandable. They couldn't take them with them because they had to. They were basically retreating, and they couldn't let them go, or they just would have retreat. They just would have rejoined the enemy. They were terrorists, so they fucking machine gunned them. But yeah, we but yeah. Um, we met Jacob. He lived here for uh, a short time. He was married to a friend of ours um, for a brief time period, maybe like a year or two. And um, we, so we would kind of like hang out at the clubs with them and whatnot. And he uh, did some performances here as well. Like I said, it's, uh, what is, what is his stage name? What is the stage name that he goes by? I can't, I can't remember it either. He did a lot of Central American and South American talk shows. He looks fucking great. Yeah. He's, he's been on TV and stuff like that down there. He married a friend of ours temporarily. That didn't last, but. Yeah. So he uh, actually, um, I had been... You can insert a photograph of him. Yeah, I, yeah I'll find one. I, yeah. I have lots of pictures of him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so he uh, was a tattoo artist also, yeah. and I had been thinking about doing a cover-up on this little bitty owl just because it was starting to look so crappy because it was so old. Uh, it was the first one I got. And um, basically, I just let him 
do I said, well, I just want something sort of owl based, yeah. but I was like, I had seen like a lot of his uh, artwork in his portfolio. Yeah, he was a he, he was I guess you could say he was a private tattooer. He did this in our house. Yeah, which they're not supposed to do in this state. But he's in another country, so fuck it. You yeah, know? he's in France and he's not coming. Well, it's back not over. like they can do anything. They about can't him. do anything now. And he did that in one setting. Ten hours. Ten hours. I sat there for ten hours. Yeah, because I didn't it. want him to have to like come back. Yeah, so, you know what you I mean. Know, so and, so he just stayed. They and he they just needed the money. Yeah, they just yeah. stayed over at our house, and it's like we just kind of set up in our in the front of the bathroom. Yeah, and it's like Tom fell asleep, up. his wife fell asleep. Yeah, it healed up pretty good. Yeah. There's a couple parts where some some of the color fell out of it. If he was here to touch that up for you, but it's, it's good enough. Yeah, but I just I basically just let him run wild. I said just take something yeah. that's sort of like a so, so he did this kind of owl goddess yeah. kind of theme because like I said I really liked his artwork so I said you can do whatever you want I don't really care. Um, so just cover up his whatever. Wife, his wife's name is Aurora I and mean, we got videos of her. That he used, he stuck a couple of fucking hooks through her back and yeah. suspended her from the ceiling in this club that we were at. It was fucking pretty cool. Yeah, that was a great she show, a, actually. Yeah. They, they were just... That was that, years ago. Just that was at the that grotto. Kind of yeah. That's not there anymore. Put some big-ass fucking huge fish hooks through her. And swung and, her around. And, and yeah, it. she's just... She's swinging around, and, it, you know, they they were just... That was like some shit that you did to fucking join, like, an Apache tribe or something. <laughs> you know? Back she in could, the old She did that shit like it was nothing. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, they had a couple shows like that. So uh, I think Jacob's still doing good. I still see yeah. him. He's on my uh, yeah, I Instagram. Talked to, him, talked to him a couple of days ago. Yeah, he's still he, on my Instagram. So He's in France. He said he was making a, a bunch of money and putting on shows and that everybody loved his act. And it went, his act didn't work here in the United States, but it worked It worked in in Europe. Here, he, he had too much competition. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, so. you got Disney here and all that. People are so jaded. They don't give a shit about that. But <laughs> yeah. send, send him to France where he'd be a super oddity. You know what I mean? He can he can book shows. Yeah, but he's he's a super cool dude. He's yeah, like real a really cool. nice guy. Even though, like, you know, I think most most normal people, which I do not count myself among, uh, would probably see him and think he was, like, terrifying looking and stuff like that. But he is actually, like, a sweet dude. Yeah. <laughs> which a lot of those people are. Yeah, he's a skinny guy. So the only uh, the only other question we got, and I kind of answered it, but I wasn't entirely sure because you weren't here to ask. Somebody asked about your Mazinger figures. Oh, which one? They um they just said, well, those Mazingers are they figures or are they kits? Like, did you build them? Oh, uh, one of them is a model. The okay, one, see, that's what I that's, thought. Yeah, and that, that's that's not a Mazinger. That's a that's a getter. Yeah. Uh, that's a model. Uh, the one in the back was a uh was one that it was just a um, a vinyl figure. And I painted it. Yeah. That's a really good paint job on it. The one in the back says you... The two in the front are Bandai's. That's, those are die-cast metal, basically action figures. They're fully articulated. The 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 Grandai's are inside the UFO. And the uh, Zima Zinger in the back there. And the fucking Duke Fleet trike and the fucking TFO. Those are HL Pros. And I'm friends with the, with, with the guy who owns HL Pro. Yeah. Actually, I helped conceive some of HL Pro's newer products. We were talking about them online and stuff for a long, a long time. If you look up King Gory, King, we talked King Gory into fucking existence, which is a damn cybernetic gorilla, King Gorilla, King Kong. But it's a that was the, it was a Japanese ripoff. Yeah. But he owns a Japanese. He's a French guy who lives in Japan, married a Japanese woman. His his kids are Japanese. He's lived there forever, and uh, it's just a guy that I was friends with people in the comic book kind of fucking, it had to do with fucking gods and monsters and the guys yeah. that own gods and monsters and PBM, which is a company that imports stuff, trying to get into comic, this is back when comic book shops kind of made money, and that's how I fell in with the guys that, or at least one of the guys that makes these things. Yeah, because you kind of so, got a lot. You were kind of instrumental in when, uh, or yeah. not Gods and Monsters. Well, before that was Acme. Acme. And you were yeah. kind of, they were just starting to import like all of these Japanese, yeah. like all the robots now, and stuff. And you were kind of like helping them out because you yeah. knew about it. Now up there, I'm trying to get that up there is a bunch more of them. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> and those are mostly Bandai's and HL Pro diecast. Yeah, he's got a shit. Ton. I got a bunch of fucking vinyl action figures of fucking Great Mazinger, Mazinger Z. Uh, fucking Grandizer. Uh, that one up there, that big one in the box, that's a model that I built, a vinyl model. Uh, that's a fucking custom Black Getter 
that I made out of vinyl and fucking a bunch of other stuff. I made that years of years back now, but that's pretty cool. Other than the fact that it's a vinyl and the paint that I used, it all worked out fine. But that vinyl's releasing gas, and all that paint is sticky as shit. If you grab it, you get fingerprints in it. And then a couple days later, the fingerprint vanishes. It all just evens back out. But you don't want to touch it. Yeah. Made a mistake. Which, which is why it's up there. <laughs> yeah, I made a, made a mistake with, with that one. But it looks good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. you can see he has like a humongous yeah. collection. Yeah, I'm, I've kind of fell behind. There's some newer ones that I want to get. Yeah, because you haven't bought any for bought any a while. Time. Yeah. Because he used to get like the new one every time that it came yeah, out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of the HL Pro ones and... But the Bandai ones, the new the new Solo Shigokin line, I kind of like it because it, it's a copy of HL Pro. HL Pro sculpts were doing so good that Bandai started to to copy them. To, which, yeah. Which HL Pro is a tiny little company. It's like two or three guys working, you know, in a studio, and they're having it made over in China, and they bring them in. Bandai's a huge corporation, and that's kind of an honor when. Well, yeah. A when huge somebody, corporation like, starts copying you. Well, because HL Pro, like you said, it's a small... And they do yeah. it because they love it. Yeah. And they put a lot of work yeah. into their uh, sculpts and like, yeah. the toys and everything. I mean, when they release one, it's like top of the line. Yeah, and when they make these things, they don't really make any money off them. Yeah. The, uh, where yeah, the I don't see how Where the could. money's made is little vinyl things, keychains, fucking mugs, all the other merch. Yeah. The shit you can sell for fucking five or six bucks. That's what really makes all the money. Yeah. Those those hundred and thirty dollar figures, you know, yeah, made, you're not gonna sell enough made out of stuff. damn metal and stuff. Because a lot of this stuff's metal for you people that don't know. Some of about half of it is, but the metal ones are expensive and uh, there's just no profit in them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, like to, I said, they're just made. making them because they're fans. And yeah, they it's a show. Make it's a showboat thing. It's yeah, the, it gives your brand credibility that you can make diecast articulated robots. Yeah. But that's not where the profit is. The profit's in vinyl. Yeah. Making, mass producing these little vinyl, $30 vinyl figures. That's where the fucking profit is. Well, yeah, obviously, because more people are going to be more able people to buy afford them. that. Right. You know. But yeah, so if anybody wanted to know about all the robots, yeah, like that's I said, it is. he's got a massive collection. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have much of a collection of anything. I have some like MST figures, but that's about Frankensteins it. Frankensteins and witches and stuff. I got Frankensteins and witches. I got all like Halloween. We got to clean your connect collection up though. Some, <laughs> of that stuff, some of that stuff is not high high value really. When when we, we should be getting you some really cool witch stuff. Well, I'm not worried about high value. I yeah, just I, guess I just so. have stuff because I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know how I am, man. <laughs> I like badass shit. Like how much is that guy? Okay, yeah. All right. I get that in a couple months. You know what I mean? It's freaking, yeah. Well, you know, I'm like that. I'm just kind of like, I, I, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I, I don't really have a lot of uh, money to spend on yeah. stuff like that. So it's like I haven't really bought anything like that. And if I do have extra money, I usually buy like MS. I like to sets. collect shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I like to collect shit that's that's kind of expensive and kind of rare. And when you go to sell it, you know what I mean? You can at least get your money back. Yeah. Some of this stuff you could actually kind of make money on it. If it if it goes real rare, you know. Yeah. And really, what goes most what what really goes rare is the shit that was unpopular. You know. Well, so yeah, because nobody bought. Nobody really it bought and it, and then it ended up kind of getting thrown away. And then fifteen twenty years later, a collector goes, "I need the uh, you know I need the, the Duke Flea trike. You know where are they? You know there aren't any around anymore. You know." So then you, you like pay show like five hundred bucks, and you're like, "Hey, here's yeah. one for it's a hundred dollar. It's a hundred dollar figure that they fucking <laughs> pay five hundred for." You know? Well, some people absolutely do pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. For yeah, those. those big, those big here, the jumbos, those big jumbos up there. I got to get a chest piece for that one, but I kind of rebuilt those and you know new stickers and shit like that. Those you used to be able to get them for a hundred bucks, like a couple years back on eBay. Now a good, a good one's about four hundred. Yeah, and that's that's the American co co whoops that's the American copies of the they're not really copies but the the American licensed versions through Mattel. I also had some Popey ones, which were the original Japanese ones. Those things can go for like depending on what character is four or five thousand dollars. Well, because a lot yeah. of those were built, they were for kids and they yeah. were cheap. And then they were thrown and away. And then they got thrown out or they got broken or whatever because yeah. kids played with them. And that's why, like, a lot of those types of toys, like, people are paying a lot of money for that shit now yeah. because not a lot of people kept them because yeah. they didn't think they were going to be worth anything. When I, living out in California as a kid, my mom bought me one of them. It was a, 
uh, what was the name of it? A Combatler. Combatler V or Combatler 5. I'm not sure what it was called. Or, you know, it just said Combatler and then a V, but the Japanese probably meant Combat Combatler 5. 5, yeah. That's probably what it was. I had one of those and I didn't know it, but there were only 20 of them in the United States. They came through a place called Pinocchio's Toy Shop, which is a Japanese toy shop out in California that served the Japanese community that lived there. Yeah. My mom bought me one of those. They were about 100 bucks back in the 70s. Yikes. Yeah. That's expensive. Moved to Brazil, took it with me, and I threw it out in a dumpster. It's worth about 6000 Yep. If I kept the box, when, even twice when that. When shit like that happens, yeah. you kind of understand why some people become hoarders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if it had the box, it'd just probably, keep everything. If it had the box, it's probably about six thousand. Yeah. Without the box, probably more like four. Still four. though. And I threw it away. Yeah. Don't Last time it. I saw it was sitting in a damn dumpster. Oh. Threw it in there and Poor yeah, fuck that thing. Well, girls appeared. Once girls start coming into the game, you know, you're 14, 15 years old. Fucking toys start getting thrown out. <laughs> Oh, Which, like I said, and that's why so many of them are valuable yeah. nowadays. Because yeah. so many people throw them away. All right, so uh, you want to wrap up the Friday sidetrack? Yeah, that's it. All right, I so cook. yeah, we're good. We're gotta making, make pizza. Yeah, he's making pizza. He made dough the other day and everything. Yeah. Made your own sauce. I got that stone heating up in there. Yeah, five hundred twenty-five degrees. Yeah, we're gonna have some pizza in a minute. Yeah. So uh, be safe and healthy, you guys, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.